Okay, hi, welcome to this Paxton tutorial on access levels and time zones. Uh, in this short video, we're going to show you how to set those up. So first of all, you want to open up your Net2 software. With access levels and time zones, it can get a little bit complicated if you've got very big sites. You might have lots of doors and lots of different users. So, um, But with this, if you get the basics, you'll be fine and you'll be able to program up uh, any type of system. Okay. So first of all, open up your software, and what you want to do before you do any programming in Net2 is go to your doors, just to make sure they're online. Uh, I've only got one door here, and I've got a green tick, which means it's online. You want to make sure you've got green ticks next to all of your doors. If you don't, then any changes you make in the software will not work. Okay, so make sure you've got communication. Now we have, so that's good, we can crack on. So first of all, I suggest you go to time zones and set that up first. So if you click time zones on the top left here, and it'll bring up this page here. So time zones is what hours you want to allow somebody through a certain door, okay? So for instance, cleaners, let's keep it simple. We're gonna create one for the cleaners that come. So at the bottom right here, you've got add new, press that, and we're gonna label our new time zone as cleaners, okay? Now our cleaners come on a Monday, say, so if you double tap in Monday and then you can drag and drop it to whatever time you want. You can also set it here at the bottom left, start time and end time, okay? And then you do that for every day that you want. You could even right click on that, copy and click where you want and then press paste, okay? And set up these times uh, according to what you want. When that's ready, press apply in the bottom right and that's done. Okay, now you want to go to access levels. So in the top left, if you click access levels, now this access levels is doors. Think about it like that, like what doors do you want them to have access to? Okay, so we're going to create a new one. So we press add new on the bottom right, and because we're doing one for the cleaners, we'll call it cleaners as well. Okay, you can call this whatever you want. I'm just keeping this simple for this demonstration. Okay, so I've only got one door here. So this page will be a list of your doors. This will show you where all of your doors are. So you'll have main entrance, rear entrance, office door, toilet door, whatever doors you have, right? And on the right here where it says time zones, this is where you pick if you want them to have access to those doors. So main entrance at the minute is set to no time. So if I wanted to set this to cleaners hours, then I would set that there, and now the cleaners will have access to the main entrance during the hours that we set previously on the time zones, okay? And you can do that for all your different doors, deciding which doors you want and so forth. If you don't want them to have access, then you just leave it as at no time, or if you want them to have access all the time, you can press all day, every day, and you can set up as many time zones as you want, okay? When that's done, hit apply in the bottom right, and that's that. Now, all you have to do is assign your users to those access levels. So for instance, if I go to users, I've already got cleaners here, so you double click in there, <clears throat> we click new user, and this will bring up an empty page to set up all your credentials. And what you wanna do is department cleaners, and then access levels, I can set it as cleaners. Now this person will only have access to those doors during those hours that we set, okay? And that's it, all right? Thanks a lot.